Good morning, this is uh, Father Reis at Christ Episcopal Church. And I'm Father Keith with Christ Episcopal Church. We are so glad you're joining us today. Know that we're praying for you, and we're glad you can join with us so we can pray together at least virtually. We'll be praying the Office of Morning Prayer. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, Father and to the, the Son, and to the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, Come let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. The psalm appointed for this morning are Psalms 87 and also Psalm 90. They're found on page, starting at page 711 in the Book of Common Prayer. On the holy mountain stands the city he has founded. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of our God. I count Egypt and Babylon among those who know me. Behold, Philistia, Tyre, and Ethiopia, in Zion they were born. Of Zion it shall be said, Everyone was born in her, and the Most High himself shall sustain her. The Lord will record as he enrolls the peoples. These also were born there. The singers and the dancers will say, All my fresh springs are in you. Psalm 90 on page 717. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought forth, or the land and the earth were born, from age to age you are God. You turn us back to the dust and say, Go back, O child of earth, for a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, and like a watch in the night. You sweep us away like a dream. We fade away suddenly like the grass. In the morning it is green and flourishes. In the evening it is dried up and withered. For we consume away in your displeasure. We are afraid because of your wrathful indignation. Our iniquities you have set before you, and our secret sins in the light of your countenance. When you are angry, all our days are gone. We bring our years to an end like a sigh. The span of our life is seventy years, perhaps in strength even eighty. Yet the sum of them is but labor and sorrow, for they pass away quickly and we are gone. Who regards the power of your wrath? Who rightly fears your indignation? So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long will you tarry? Be gracious to your servants. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning, so shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. Make us glad by the measure of the days that you afflicted us and the years in which we suffered adversity. Show your servants your works and your splendor to their children. May the graciousness of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper the work of our hands. Prosper our handiwork. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Now when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders, and they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it. And there are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of cups, pots, and bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? He said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. Then he said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of God in order to keep your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and mother, and whoever speaks evil of father or mother must surely die. But you say that if anyone tells father or mother, whatever support you might have gotten from me is Corban, that is, an offering to God, then you no longer permit doing anything for a father or mother, thus making void the word of God. Making void the word of God through your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many things like this. Then he called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, though the things that come out are what defile. When he had left the crowd and entered the house, his disciples asked him about the parable. He said to them, Then do, then do you also fail to understand? Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart, but the stomach, and goes out into the sewer? Thus he declared all foods clean. And he said, It is what comes out of a person that defiles. For it is from within, from the human heart, that evil intentions come. Fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are on Canticle 19 on page 94 of our Book of Common Prayer for Morning Prayer. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great Great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do your homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And all 
also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clap your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us good hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures. Grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your Holy Church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We are at the general thanksgiving on page 101 of our Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your worthy, worthy servants, servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us. Grant us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen.